Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I have been informed that there may have been a design flaw in this ship. Namely, that I might not be able to transfer fuel into this ship. And it's looking like that's the case. So, Kerbal Station, Winter Station 1 will be a complete failure because I can't actually get the fuel from here into these ships for some reason. So what I'm going to do is, because I want to at least have a design that will work, um, I'm going to redesign this station here and see if I can figure out how to actually put the, uh, put, get, set it up so that fuel can be transferred into this ship. So we're going to bounce on and off the launch pad a couple times here first and see what happens. See you shortly. Just conducting an important experiment here. I don't even know if these two tanks here can even transfer fuel between them. So if they can't, then this would never have worked in the first place. Okay, so these tanks can't talk to each other, which means that this probe design, this design here, is not a refuelable uh, lunar probe. It just, just by design, it will fail. So knowing that, if, if this plan of having a station to refuel the probes is going to work, I'm going to need a more functional design. So this probe won't work. Okay, so knowing that, it's back to the drawing board. And actually that Capola lander might actually be the one that I send out there in the, few, in the next... Assuming if I smack that, slap that on top of this station, I can transfer fuel from here into the cupola. That might actually just deliver that out there and replace the uh, beast that's currently sitting there. That's something I could do. Okay, just give me a moment. I think I've made just an important discovery about how these fuel pumps work. Pardon the slight chaos here as we... So I have here in the center, this is still the same ship design. Um... Oh, that one was supposed to be empty. Never mind, maybe that didn't work. But I've got the pump on right now, and right now it is pumping fuel to nowhere. Which is interesting. So I have no idea where all that fuel just went, but it basically... Oh! Pump is on. That tank's full. Oh, it works! The design works as is. It might actually, I might not have to reverse it, revert it because of the way the fuel tanks work, the fuel pumps work. See, there goes the second tank is filling up. Tank three is filling. I was thinking it was going to nowhere, but it turns out, okay, I'm gonna do a tweak. So the pump, it's not a transfer like it used to be. I have to actually activate the pump is a separate device which consumes electricity to move fuel around. So it's not an, a transfer transfer, it's basically a passive movement of fuel between the parts. While the passive is in, it just does it without me having to worry about exactly how it works. So I have to revert the design of this ship though because I've made enough changes that I'm, I'm not confident that it's necessarily this the version that was in that's in orbit is going to work. So give me a second, I will revert and be right back. All right, if this works, we're golden. Have four half full upper stage tanks here. All the design has been reverted. So when I activate the pump here, should begin pulling fuel out of here, exactly as planned, and straight into there. So the answer to the question, will my station actually be able to refuel uh, the ship? It looks like the answer is yes. And that is absolutely fantastic news. So, cool. I guess I can start planning my manned mission and we'll see how that goes. This could be really, really ugly. I just need to go check the station out. Let's, all right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the Space Center. We're gonna pop out to the station and check a few other details about it, including hazards navigation, because as has been noted, um, I probably could have done a better job of, of cleaning up that orbit. There's a swarm of uh, there's a swarm of uh, bits and bobs and parts and crap floating around this station now. It's terrible. I have to laugh. 
Um, sending out a uh, cleanup shuttle would probably be a valuable thing in the future. Okay, so. So that's very good news that that will work. It's got a stable supply of electricity. We're going to bring our uh, crew in here. I don't think I'll be able... My only concern now is that I'm not going to be able to transfer the crew between the two halves of this station, which is really unfortunate. I'm almost tempted to bring up a more uh, robust docking core first to attach onto here, something that's designed to act as a go-between for uh, ships to dock, rather than having this at one end of the station and the other piece at the other end. You know, I could do that, you know. It would just be a case of bringing up this, maybe a nice big supply of monopropellant for late, for the future. And then I could relocate this ship around to the side of the station. Let me see. I just got to look up what kind of, what parts the crew can actually pass through. Because that's the part I don't know the answer to, is what can actually go through the... Uh, what can people climb through? So the answer to that question is going to determine exactly how I design what I think is going to be necessary, which is a uh, docking matrix on this station. Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to do a touch of research, and then we will fly uh, the second piece of Lunar Station 1 to the moon, which I think is going to include another batch of solar panels, just because you can never have enough power when you're dealing with manned flights. All right, and a nice bank of large batteries. Yeah, parts and useful supplies. I shall return. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. This is Mooner Station uh, 1, Part 2. And we have an experiment attached to it. This pump, this tank, and this tank are part of the experiment to make sure that this will work as or still work as a refueling depot as designed. So basically this piece right here won't be flying with us and this piece right here won't be flying with us. I just need to make sure that fuel because, and I'll show you, we're going to have to do some work at Lunar Station 1 before we can actually fly this, but I'll show you why. So if we take this to the launch pad, um, and this piece is just going to get discarded on this flight. It's just going to be used to maneuver this into position. I've put the extra probe core on this side of the ejection matrix. So we'll be able to ditch this thing and send it on its way. But let's take this to the launch pad so we can test. What I need to know is that when I attach this thing to the station, fuel will be able to cross feed through the fuselage and the battery packs and the... Um, RCS tanks, because this is basically a massive um, re-everything. The only thing that's really missing is the ability to store uh, a quantity of uh, life support, which would be really useful. So when I activate the pump, this tank's full, this tank's empty, so when I activate the pump, it should just begin transferring all the fuel into here. Beautiful. That's all we really needed it to do. All right. Now we'll uh, revert flight to vehicle assembly. We'll make the tweaks to the design. Pull it back into the can, because heaven forbid we should test in a small scale experiment. <laughs> it's very Kerbal of us. Okay, just to make sure I don't try to launch with extraneous bits. Um, this is our docking port that we're actually going to attach using, which means we actually don't need these right here because the distance won't actually be that great. That should do it. Okay, saving this. Exiting to the uh, orbit. And now we're gonna go and hopefully not botch the migration of the probe or of the uh, lander module to a different part of the station during the for the docking procedure. See, there is one flaw with this plan I have. One very, very, very significant flaw. And that flaw is as follows. Fuel pump is right here, pointing this way, which means where this station, the new piece of the station 
has to attach right here for me to, me to be able to pump fuel from here to here, to the new stations. I can't attach it on this end of the station. So we need to make sure we have a probodyne there that's active and we have actually foolishly got two probe cores on our landing design, which was really silly of me. I didn't even notice that there was one crammed inside of this uh, SAS module. So we're going to activate that. We need to activate the power on all four. And we'll need to activate the RCS, which is one of the other upsides to the fact that we're bringing a whole bunch of extra fuel and stuff here. So this will be a round of orbital maneuvering, which is always fun and exciting. Hopefully this thing is nice and stable. Oh, it's rotating. Why is it rotating? Or does it just look like it's rotating relative to the moon? All right, let's first, before we do anything, let's lock it so that it's facing. If anybody has advice on where to face a station so that it's somewhat stable relative to the planet would be great. You know, what, what orientation does a station need to have to feel like it's, uh, you know, not constantly rotating? Because that, inquiring minds want to know. Okay, so we're going to put this on low fuel activity. And we're going to decouple the node here. All right, we want to fly. No, it's this. There we are. There we go. Perfect. OK. Now we need to go. All righty, here goes plan B. Um, what you guys will have missed is me completely botching the process of rotating this station, of getting this thing at the other end of this station. Um, partly because I had no RCS fuel left in the station, partly because this thing is... Basically, I have not got enough RCS fuel out here to do all the jobs I want to do. So what we're going to try is a different tactic. Um, basic plan is I'm going to rotate the station instead of rotating this, uh, trying to maneuver this ship around to the other end of the station for this maneuver. And hopefully when I come out here with a monster improvement to the RCS capacity of this station, we won't have so many problems. But it's just, it was so bad. Just, it's some of the worst flying I've ever done. But learning how to maneuver ships around these stations is going to be a critical challenge in the future. So I have RCS now in the mo I have monopropellant in here. So the plan is to rotate, is just to back off a couple meters, very small amount. In fact, we'll put on the low powered. We need these two to be stable relative to one another. See, I've got, I goofed by not putting um, RCS on the outside of this tank here. Okay. Decouple node, and then we go a very small amount. Perfect. Now we need to go rotate. Come on, rotate. Shoot, we are going to have to use the bigger engines, aren't we? Oh, or it could just be because the RCS is off. Oh, stop it. Why are you guys rotating relative to one another? Okay, seriously. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, shoot, I forgot to turn on the probe. <laughs> oh, shoot, I forgot to turn on the batteries on this thing, too, as soon as I... Okay. This is why I quick save this time. Oh boy, guys, I really am not going to fly the delivery mission today. I am just completely botching everything. Okay. Probe core online. 
power online. RCS tanks online. There we go. RCS tanks online. Probe cores, of course, online. Batteries are online. SAS and RCS are online. Hopefully. Now, quick save. Okay. Decouple node. Give a tiny puff of, and then some rotation to this one. No, SAS off, we want to rotate freely. No, wrong rotation, this one. There we go. Okay, now we go over to this one. Make sure, oh, for gosh sakes. That is going to be obviously a pain in the butt. Uh-oh, uh, back up just a bit, just a bit. Okay, so this is, okay. Looks like we're gonna be okay on that front. Okay, back to this one. Just keep rotating. And we're gonna control from here. No, we want to set this is my target. This is my target right here. Control from here. No. Control from here. Why did it do that? Hey, why are you doing that? Okay, this is looking a little better this time. Just keep on doing this relative drift because it should just rotate 180 degrees if all is well with the world. Oh, and point us at the ship. Oh, right, let's get rid of a couple markers here. Let's get rid of this. There we are, that should clean things up a little. I need to get over to that marker. Okay, stop that. Come on, what is going on? Uh, this thing obviously isn't quite RCS'd properly. Also, it, it just feels like it's not angling right again. Dang it, it isn't, it isn't. I don't know what it's doing, but. All I want is this stupid end pointing at this stupid bloody lander. Was that too much to ask? <sighs> Reload. I don't know what happened. I don't know why this is happening, but I'm just botching this at every turn. Okay. Are all things online for this save? Yes, they are. Okay, there should be no movement in this thing if I don't have, I mean, okay, seriously, there should be no relative movement between these two ships. So all I should have to do is decouple, reverse, rotate. Just don't hit the ship. Just don't hit the ship. We're going to have a collision here, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Mm, nope. 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 Oh, yes. Just cleared it. Okay. Just 
keep rotating. Perfect. Keep it up. So what we want is this to be nice and centered. And then we put a we put brakes on the uh, rotation. And then we should just be able to push the two ships back together again and all will be well with the world, right? It says here in fine print. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Okay, stop it right there. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? RCS off. Dang that stupid thing. All right. Stop, 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 stop. Ugh. I'm just that bad at this, aren't I? Oh my fucking god. <sighs> of course, maybe I should wait until doing this until, the, until we're around on the sunny side of the planet so I can see what the hell's going on. <sighs> Let's do that, because we're just coming around to sunset. Okay, here comes the sun. All right. Quick saving again. This has just been awful, guys. I, I have not had a worse time with a spaceship in my entire time. Where's, okay. Okay, RCS off, SAS off. If you don't need your RCS on, you shouldn't be using it. I'm almost, I'm almost at the point where I'm thinking that it would be just easier to put a second pump on this thing. Because if pumps will work through docking ports, I might be just fine. Okay, so if we orient this whole works. No, set the moon. No, the moon. No, okay. Apparently I can't set that as my target. <sighs> okay. I hate docking. I really do. Why is this thing drifting? See, that's the thing I can't figure out, is why is this thing currently drifting? And that thing's just causing me drift. Okay. There's no rotation in this ship now. I hope. So there shouldn't be. I mean, we're in space for God's sakes. Decouple. Okay, we're going to put it on low powered R SAS, RCS. RCS on. Okay. RCS on, SAS on, lock it. Okay. So, okay, rotate. So I did not think this design through. We've got a big, basically a big lump of unmaneuverable mass on this thing is what's going on. I think that's why I'm having so much trouble with this thing. That and the uh, RCS thrusters are not adequate to do the job I'm asking them to do. Okay. Oh, we managed to rotate past the ship again without causing any grief. So what is happening is we're drifting off that center point that the rotation is off center so the two things aren't 
Okay, so in a few moments, relative to this thing here, should be pointing in the right direction. Which is at the set as target. Control from here. Okay, see that worked. That worked this time. So all we should have to do, come on, stop. Stop rotating, for gosh sakes. Is point it at my target. A little more. Just trust the ship, trust the controls. Lock it on. No, 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 no. Come on, stop it. Stop rotating relative to your target. Or is my target rotating relative to me? I can't tell anymore. Okay, lock it on. To that, now rotate this, set as target. Control from here, because that's the only place I have to control from. Okay. Now here goes the acid test. I'm going to return to the station. Perfect, okay. Now we should just have to do a little maneuvering. There we are. To line this up properly. Okay. Come on, we can do this. Come on, over that way, just a little. a little, over a little. Oh God, don't tell me I'm rotating. No, 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 no. What are we doing? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, RCS off. Seriously, that's not helping. I'm not sure why this thing is so unstable, but There's something not lining up quite right here. Just keep it on that target, keep it on target. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Get over. Come on. Okay. SAS off on this thing. Don't care about you. Hopefully we'll be in a different orbit soon. Come on, come on. We're almost there, come on. Just, 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 just a little closer. Just, just pull it together, pull it together. Oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please. Just rotate into place, rotate into place. There's no, RC, there's no SAS going on here. Oh, we are so off. Please, please, please. Yes! Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Well, guess what I get to do again here in a little while. In just a little while, I get to bring another ship. Bring in the, bring in the docking core, and then I have to try and get this thing from here over to here. How fun is that going to be? At least I have RCS fuel left on this thing now. Not a lot. This Most of the work's going to have to be done by the docking station. This is really short on fuel, actually. Wow. Okay. 
We'll do a quick save right there. All right, everybody. Um, back to the Space Center. We're going to end by getting the docking node in orbit. But I think I have to do a bit more design work on it. And I think the best bet will be the most efficient use of mass and space on this thing. First of all, we're going to need some RCS, some serious RCS up at that end, which actually we should have thanks to the uh, design I've added on. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to, those conduits, that the uh, traversable conduits, I think we're going to put solar panels on it. Now the one upside to the design of all this is I can always deliver out a more advanced lander later. So yeah, we're gonna to, we're gonna add more solar panels to the station in the most logical way possible by putting them. Where is the electrical stuff? There it is. Come on. Okay. What the heck is going on with this? Okay. Four, four panels. All right, let's just go with one and get this thing oriented properly. Okay. Not that way, not that way. There we go. Two, three, four. That's not doing it right. That's interesting that its angle of duplication is a little weird. But if I do that, what we're looking for is solar panels that will work regardless of what time of day it is. Come on. Come on. You had you working properly just a second ago, you stupid thing. There we are. I think, in all honesty, I think that is going to be the best design for them. And I'll need a second one on this second set out here. So, hopefully those uh, RCS, and then we take the way to replicate, by the way, the way to, because of the quirks of this central core, when you want to duplicate things around it, you have to design one, and then rotate it into place, like so. <laughs> Not like so. That would be unfortunate. That's a serious clipping problem. Okay. Now what... Three, four. There we go. So the weight of this core, just so you're, just in case you're in, any of you are curious, it weighs. Um, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna switch that decoupler out. But it weighs. Oh, wrong piece. We need to take that off. Thirty-one tons, which is not well. Okay, thirty-one units. I think it's thirty-one tons, but I'm not sure positive on that. Okay, but we're gonna to make sure we don't run into grief with this later. We're gonna replace that with one of the self-destructing uh, sac separator rings. I'm just trying to remember the. Uh... Oh yeah, no, it would be removing the part that's straight up, isn't it? So actually, that would be the better thing because we want to get rid of the uh, upper portion, and we want to take all extraneous stuff away with us. Actually, in an ideal world, we don't want to do that at all. What we want to do is actually decouple the silly thing. That's the much better approach to this because utility. That will ensure that the part I don't want goes away with us, like so. So this extraneous piece will leave Okay, so this is where we're connecting up, which is good. Lots and lots and lots of RCS thrusters and tanks. 
So this whole this is these these four these eight eight tanks by the way have been attached to this rock element, this uh, central thruster the poodle tank. Speaking of which, we do not need the whoops structural inher instability inherent with this goofy design right here. It has served its purpose. We already have a fuel tank attached to the station, so we can get rid of that bit of extra mass. Let's see, where else, what else, now what else do you think we need on this station? You know what? Rather than launching this now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this uh, docking disaster episode live, and I would like to ask you guys, what is this station missing to function? These, uh, I've already made, verified people can travel through these, um, so these are traversable. Um, so yeah, what is this station need? What, what can I bring up with me that this station could use? in future missions. Uh, that Because I'm not sure I'm going to be starting the next version quite yet, because Flower Child's not really recommending it as a, a mode of play as of yet. As soon as he says it's good to go, like as soon as he says, you know, it's uh, really ready, I will pull it out. I'm, I'm, I'll be retiring this quickly, but until then, I might as well learn a few new things. So. Yeah, what, what parts could this station use? I mean, other than a probably better designed um, lander, because I think, honestly, that thing is going to be a disaster. Because I remember, I remember actually having to, now that I think about it, I do recall having to use the command module to actually rendezvous with the stupid thing because I didn't have enough RCS on that thing. Um, so I think I may have to send a better, a more effective land route, because this, the downside is this station is not going to be maneuverable at all. So, okay guys, well, I'll launch this in the next episode. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Sorry it wasn't quite as dramatic or as exciting as some of my episodes have been, but this is how we learn things. Um, sometimes they work. And I will see you all in the next episode. Looking forward to your feedback. Bye for now.